So the Springboks had about half an hour left to try to find a way through our defense, which had been solid up to this point. And while we've touched on this already, Mark, maybe you could talk a little bit more about uh, what was arguably their biggest problem of the day, players and positions that weren't, they, they weren't really used to at test level, especially Willems at 10. Yeah, it's not like years ago where Ireland might have been a soft touch for teams coming here. You know, Ireland have a very good game plan. And even with the injuries we've had and guys coming in and out, they execute that game plan well, you know, as, as Tom said, the, the exchange of kicks, um, Ireland won probably most, most of the time, mainly because Willemse is not a 10. Willemse is a fantastic rugby player, but he's a brilliant 15, has, has played really well at 13 as well. 10 is a whole different, uh, as you say, test match animal. You know, he, he panicked a little bit, as you said, that kick off from uh, Jameson Gibson Park, you know, when he got, he got rattled for a few minutes after we scored that try. He didn't look composed. Uh, the the ring rose Balakun double hit on him. You know he was he was a bit shook for a few minutes, um, and you see the different. No more than ourselves with our own provincial bias, as much as we like to say we don't have it. You know the South African regional provincial bias as well. They've got our ten should be in there. Our you know if they want to pick Manny Labak at ten, fire away, pal. You know he wouldn't frighten me any day of the week. Never mind. Never mind come World Cup. Like again, they're all really good players, but playing 10 at international, probably between two of the best four, because New Zealand are looking back to you, you've got four teams at the top of where rugby at the moment. Ireland, New Zealand, uh, France, and South Africa are just that little bit better than everybody else. But the way South Africa play, they don't necessarily need a, a flashy 10, you know, for whatever reason. South Africa have some amazing backs in the URC. They just don't seem to get picked. They're missing a 10 that can literally just put his foot on the ball and go, right, lads, I'm going to kick the ball high. You chase hard. Get me some inside runners, outside runners that are six foot seven, six foot eight, and do that. And everything seemed to come off of nine for, for South Africa at the weekend, as, as it tends to do, you know, big lads around the corner. And if you get your defense set as Ireland did, you know, bring it, lads. Bring it, you know, if it we're eventually catching up with you in terms of strength and conditioning as we have over the last few years. And Ireland are not exactly a small side either. James Ryan and Caelan Doris, I thought, were superb around the tackle area and the rook area. These, uh, these are huge men that are thundering into them. But you look at the Ireland team sheet, or sorry, the team photograph that comes out on the Friday before again. James Ryan is a monster of a man. But to go back to the South African 10 issue, um, they'll probably go back to Pollard, you know, um, and that might not be a bad idea. I, I, I wouldn't dispense with Willem sir, from the 22, 23, sorry, on, on the team sheet. He'd be there, thereabouts. But when they need that little extra at the moment, that 6-2 split doesn't work for them. You know, when a team mm -hmm. negates whatever they're doing, and Wales did it in the first few, in, in the three tests, actually. You know, the Welsh pack stood up to the South African pack in the summer, and they didn't have that answer from 10 to change the game, be it either cross field kicks or little wedges over the top, chips over the top. Um, you know, they they need something different or they're going to go back to type. I think they'll go back to type. Knowing Razi and what he tries to do, you know, there's an arrogance there that they go, we're still going to play the same way and try and beat you with, with good box kicks. Um, that doesn't matter which nine plays. I think both nines are, are excellent, to be honest with you. But... The South Africans have a style of play that requires a certain style of 10. And mm -hmm. the three guys that come to mind straight away are Mornay, Stan, Fran, Stan, and, and, and Pollard. You know, and you've got two guys who well into the toilet of their careers, no more than Johnny, you know, that have been around for a while. But if they want to go back to blunt throw trauma with a big booming kicking 10, who can kick for goal as well, because Willems is kicking for goal, as we saw, they handed it to Colby for a couple. Um, is not reliable. Film set for me would be in my 23, but not necessarily as a 10. Yeah, because I mean, it, it's by definition, if you're going to have a team that's got such a strong pack and you've got such pacey uh, a back three, you, 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 don't, you, you don't have to have a worldy 
10 there. You just need someone who's going to kick his goals and, and tie them up. You do, But you definitely don't have to worry about him. You don't have to worry about him kicking straight out in the full and not being able to cope with yeah. being hit and, and just doing the basics. So it just didn't didn't seem to make a lot of sense. But um, it's sorry. Yeah, it's not yeah. it's not it's not as if they don't have some world class centers outside of minor. You know, yeah. they're missing Lucan Yuan. Don't get me wrong. Any yeah. team would miss a player of that quality. But, you know, Creel had a very good game. Uh, De Allende made yards again. So the, the problem was potentially Razi's selection of 10 and 15. You know, Colby is one of the top two or three wingers in the world when he's on form. He's definitely be better all around than Aronsa, but why pick him at 15? Why pick two positions where your game is so based around the kicking game and winning that kicking duel, and you need two players in positions of 10 and 15, or luckily enough like Ireland had, you had, you had Keenan who can obviously kick, but bringing Jimmy O'Brien on, there's there's three kicking options, three valid kicking options there uh, going. And South Africa picked their two more than likely uh, kicking positions. They picked players that weren't used to it. Yeah, there's there's a narrative going around that they that they did it that way just to keep the cards close to the chest out of us playing them next year. So maybe it was a bit of three dimensional chess. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll we'll just leave that there and see what see what see what we think about that. Yeah. All right, so 